Hello everyone, in today's video I will be showing you my stationary essentials for bullet journaling and pen piling. It has been more than a year and a half since I did a video about my essentials and this time I'm also including my essentials for pen piling. Just a quick disclaimer before we start, these are my essentials and things that I love using and that I would buy if I was going to build my stationery collection from scratch, but you can do bullet journal and pen pals without them. I have videos about pen paling and bullet journaling for beginners in case you're interested in that, so let's get started. Starting with fine liners, I love the Pentel point liner set. These were gifted to me by Pentel Portugal and before that I was using the Sakura Pigma Micron pens which I still own, but I prefer these fine liners because the tips are much durable and they don't go inside the pen after using it for a while, which happened to me with the 005 Pigma Micron pen. They come in 5 different sizes and they are really good quality and that's why I prefer these ones. For colored fine liners, I am obsessed with the Arteza ones. On their website, they have different sets of fine liners, which is really nice. I got the 72 pack and I also have the 24 pack of another kind of fine liners from Arteza, but the 72 pack is really nice because the colors are very vibrant and you get a good range of colors with this set. They have a 0.4mm tip and they are not numbered so I numbered all myself and I have a video on my channel all about my pen swatches notebook if you're interested. But I love these fine liners and they are really great for my pen pals. My favorite black gel pens are the ones from Muji, specifically the 0.38 gel pen that I use to fill in my bullet journal and also to do my themes and to write on my pen pal letters. They are super smooth and I live for these pens. And for the actual letter on my pen pals, I use the 0.5 retractable pen from Muji because it's super smooth and I can write super fast with it and my letter is just not all over the place, so I really like it. Any gel pen works, obviously, but I have been using these since I started bullet journaling and with my pen pals and I'm never going back. I also have to mention colored gel pens. I know that Muji has colored ones, but I only use the black to be honest. And for gel pens with different colors, I really like the Arteza gel pens. I also did a haul unboxing them that I will link below, but they are the juiciest gel pens I have ever tried. First of all, the packaging is beautiful and they come in a 24 set, but you can buy the bright colors separately from the vintage colors. I use them on my March setup and I also use them for my pen pal letters as well because they don't bleed through and they are really great just to write and do small calligraphy with them. Now for markers, the most affordable ones for me are the Crayola Super Tips. I have the 50 pack and to be honest I think it's enough. They have a good range of colors and I never felt the need to get the 100 pack. And if I end up using all of these I would probably get the 50 pack again. You can do calligraphy with these, which is really amazing if you don't want to get actual brush pens. And I also numbered all of them with a sharpie and a year later the ink is still on the marker and the number is still visible. So highly recommend this technique for unnumbered markers. Another set of markers that I love are the Arteza Dream Markers. They are a bit different than the Crayola ones, but you can do calligraphy with these markers with both tips, the marker tip and the fine tip, which is great if you like smaller calligraphy. I have the 48 pack, but they also sell the 100 pack, and if I had to describe these markers, I would say that they are a mix between the Tombow dual brush pens and the Crayola markers because they are really good quality and good for doodling, and you can do calligraphy with them, and the range of colors fulfills my needs, so they are a must in my stationery collection. Now for actual brush pens, you know that I love the Tombow Dual brush pens. I tried other brush pens in the past, but since the beginning I have been obsessed with these. They can be somewhat expensive, but for me they are worth the money because I only buy Tombows when I really need that specific color, otherwise I try to use the pens that I have at home. 
And since the beginning of the pandemic, I think I got three or four new tombos because I prefer to see them displayed in the store and now those are closed, so I also didn't feel the need to buy tombos. But they are my favorite markers and brush pens for coloring and calligraphy. For small calligraphy, besides the Arteza Twee markers, I deeply love the Pentel Fuda Touch pens. I was going to get these pens or the Tombow Fuda Nosuke ones, but since these were cheaper and I prefer to buy the cheaper markers before I go for the most expensive ones, I decided to try them first and I'm so glad I did because they are amazing. I have the original pack and the 2020 collection and they are just perfect for me. The Tombow Fudenosuke ones only have 10 colors I believe and they are way too pricey so the Pentel Fude Touch ones are just perfect in color range, price and quality. As for my favorite white marker, I like the Posca paint markers. I have the Sakura Jelly Roll in the size 08 and some creators say that the best one is the one in the size 10 but I don't have that so I can't really say anything about it. But I love the Posca white pen and it's what I use for white accents on my themes and pen pals and to cover mistakes in my bullet journal and to also decorate black envelopes for my pen pal letters. Now, moving on from markers and going into other categories, my favorite notebooks are the ones from Notebook Therapy. I love notebooks with thick white pages with a good quality cover, and the ones from Notebook Therapy are just perfect for me. I am an affiliate of them and I have a coupon code so you can save some money on their website, but if one day I stop being an affiliate of them for some reason, I'll probably continue buying their notebooks because of the quality and the designs. I have many reviews of the different notebooks that they came out with and I will link them down below in case you want to check them out. For watercolors, I love the Arteza 36 House Pen set. I'm pretty sure these are not the best watercolors out there, but for someone who doesn't use watercolors that often and it's still not 100% comfortable with mixing colors and stuff, these are really great. I made a review of them and one thing that I like about this palette is that you still have space for extra pens that you can get from Arteza's website or from a craft store and complete your palette even more. I highly recommend this set if you are a beginner or if you want a big, good quality palette, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on watercolors. I have a lot of washi tape, so I just wanted to highlight sets that are expensive but that are 100% worth the money for me, which are the ones from Shop Amanda Rachel Lee. I'm still in love with the texture of the sparkle adhesive washi tapes that she sells. The paper ones are great, nothing super special, but the sparkle ones are my favorite and I will probably buy the other sets if I really want to get my hands on the other sparkle ones. For other washi tapes and stickers, I will link my favorite shops in the description down below, as well as my review of the washi tapes. If you have been watching my pen pal videos lately, one thing that I've been using non-stop is the paper from Muji. The paper is super nice quality, is in this beige color, and it works so well for pen pal letters. Any paper works for letters, obviously, but if you want to level up your game for your pen pals, this paper makes all the difference. I don't really know how it's called, but I'm going to link it in the description. Also, for pen paling and my bullet journal collages, I have been obsessed with this adhesive tape. I just bought 20 of these because I no longer use glue sticks for my pen pals and I go through this pretty quickly. So I just use this adhesive tape instead that I got from Stationery Paul. It's game changing, it's affordable and is mess free. I can't live without these anymore, so I highly recommend you checking this out. One thing that you guys ask me about a lot is what I use for my washi tape samples for my pen pals and it's acetate paper. The acetate paper comes in normal A4 sheets and I just cut them into small rectangles for my washi tape samples and I normally can fit here 3 to 4 washi tapes in each rectangle. This paper is better than craft paper gift tags because none of the washi tape gets stuck on it so you can actually use the entire sample. With craft paper tags, you can't use the part that sticks to the tags because it peels off the paper, so in my opinion, this is a better alternative. 
I get my envelopes for pen paling from a Portuguese craft store and they are essential for me because they are good quality and pretty affordable, but I will link below some other websites that sell good quality envelopes in case you're interested in knowing where you can buy envelopes. Last but not least, to keep all of my pens in place, my Tsuki pop-up pencil case from Notebook Therapy is also life-changing. If you never tried a pencil case that stands up, you need to. I can't use a normal pencil case anymore, and these ones from Notebook Therapy are such good quality and they have a huge variety of colors and designs on their website. So those are my stationary essentials for 2021 so far. Again, you can do bullet journal and pen pal with any supplies, but I wanted to share my essentials for those activities since I receive a lot of questions about what I use and what I recommend. And here they are. If you watched the video until this point, let me know which supplies are your essentials and why. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.